This is the beginner's guide to whiteboard animation. In this video, I'll help break down a super simple process into small steps that anyone can learn. Also you. You don't need any drawing skills or video skills because we'll be using online animation tools. I also have a discount code for my favorite whiteboard animation tool at the end of the video. But first, let's start with the first step. Imagine that you want to build a house. What do you need? Some kind of plan, right? We also need a plan for our video. And in a video production, the plan is a script, a text that tells us what goes on and when. What do we want to say in the video? Now, this might sound a little hard to write, copywriting, right? But we'll use cheat codes, templates. I've made a couple myself, the fish, the USP Uzi, and the better world. Let's choose the better world for our video. Essentially, you paint a picture of a sad world where something is not right until you introduce your app or product or service, whatever it is that you want to sell or teach. Then after your thing is introduced, we move to the better world. Before I had to walk to school every day, it was very long, but now I have the e-scooter 2000. Now I fly to school every day. I have more time on my hands and more skin on my feet. There are tons of resources out there on how to write great video scripts. I think the majority is pretty bad, so here are some of my own tips. Write like you talk, delete empty sentences, write in blocks, use active voice, tie things together, spell it out, and talk to someone. Use you. That was quick, I know. We'll go deeper in a future video. Next, we gotta turn that script into a voiceover. And here we have two options. We can either use AI or a human voice. What I call AI voices are these text-to-speech tools. They sound a little bit robotic, but they are decent enough to use. Guy is my name. And gender, I guess. <laughs> and human voice is yourself and a microphone. I have a USB microphone here that you can buy for $30. I have a microphone attached to my camera and that's actually what I'm using to record this. Alternatively, you can order professional voiceovers on Fiverr. They are pretty decent and affordable as well. If you want to DIY, you need to get a USB microphone or a decent smartphone and record your voiceover with that. I don't use either because I do this for a living. So then you get a more expensive one. Disclaimer. Sound matters a lot to your videos. If you have bad sound quality on your videos, it's often perceived as a low quality video. I recommend using freelancers from Fiverr.com. This video is not sponsored by Fiverr, but uh, if, if you're watching Fiverr, please feel free to do so in the future. Now, um, these guys are both cheap and good, and uh, these are some of the favorite freelancers I've used in the past. Now is where the real fun begins because we're ready for the animations. We won't do as they did back in the days with a real whiteboard artist, a real whiteboard, cameras and lights, then record the whole thing and speed it up. Nope, we use modern tech, online tools that imitate a hand that draws really fast. Disclaimer again, there are a lot of tools out there for this. I think the best ones are Videoscribe, Doodly, Animaker and Beyond. I use Beyond because I like the graphic style and I like the user interface. It is a little more pricey than the others. Uh, and to help you with that, I have a small discount code. You can get 15% off Beyond if you use the link and discount code I have in the... Use words from your script to find things that fit with what your voiceover says. So make sure to always let the voiceover and the animations follow each other. In whiteboard video, less is more. Keep it simple. Stick to a few things per scene. No need to make it harder than it's supposed to be. That being said, try to be a little creative here. Think of new and fun and alternative ways to show things. It quickly becomes a little boring if idea is always light bulb, success is always high five, and problem is always a worried person. The whiteboard videos you love are great at illustrating things in new ways we hadn't thought of. They don't think everyone's the same. Try to do this with your tools as well. Good tools should not limit your creativity. Yes, of course, it takes a little time to get used to the tool you've chosen, but there's a quite steep learning curve. So after you spend a couple of hours in the tool, you'll get pretty good at it. You'll surprise yourself. I've spent thousands of hours in Beyond and also turned up the speed a lot on what you see now. But don't be discouraged. These online animation makers are made for non-technical beginners with zero knowledge about animation. We're almost there now. Make sure that only one hand is drawing at a time and that something is being drawn all the time. No dull moments. When you're close to done, slap on some background music, turn down the volume a little bit and give the video a spin. 
Hi, I'm Mule. Used to walk to school. Today I found something cool. Scooter and rock could fuel. Now I fly to class, where I learn how to read, and I wipe my tears. I am ready to succeed. My best advice for how to create great scenes is to steal as much as possible. You've probably already found a lot of great examples of whiteboard videos, and now you want to create some yourself. So when you sit there, empty of ideas, blank canvas, go back to those great examples and imitate what you liked that they did. Everybody does it, even Pablo Picasso. To recap, what we've done is that we've written a script, we've recorded it as a voiceover, and animated the whole thing in a whiteboard tool. And now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Exporting, downloading the video out of the tool so we can start using it for something, right? When you've gotten the video out of the tool, you can use it for whatever you want, pretty much. It's yours, you can put it on your website, publish it on YouTube. As long as it's original content that you created, it's no problem that it's created in a template-based piece of software. If you're in doubt, read the terms and conditions of the tool you choose. The three most common mistakes that animators make is that they write a boring script. So spend a little time on structure. I have a workbook for free on rootreach.com that will help you and guide you through the script writing if that's a struggle for you. The second mistake people make is that they don't focus enough on sound quality. Good voiceover quality matters. Get a good microphone and have good pacing. Get good background music. No claps, taps, ukuleles, and whistles. And the third mistake that people make is one that I've made a whole video about. And if you want to see what that mistake is, you can watch it right here. Oh, and make sure to subscribe for a chance to win an all access pass to all my courses worth $500. Winner picked every month. My name is Ruud Rees. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.